Listen, your girl is tired tonight. I really, 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 really don't feel like being in this kitchen tonight because I'm tired. But I promised to make some deviled eggs, some potato salad, and some chicken. And that's kind of like what I'm in for. I really don't have a choice. And then I promised a few folk that inbox me and asked me when was I going to, what was I going to, when was I going to video again? I said I would be videoing tonight. And then Denise put a post on my timeline asking me when was I going to video again. And I said tonight. So here I is. Cutting up my eggs right now so I can do uh, a deviled egg. Listen, ain't going to be nothing fancy smancy. I'm just slicing up these eggs, so I'm taking the yolk out the middle of it, so I can make my stuffing for the inside of them, and uh, then I'm going to do that like that right there, like that. I'm, I'm tired, so y'all got to excuse me if I'm acting a little dilly-dally, but I'm acting that way for good reason, because I'm really tired today. I'm just tired. Uh... <coughs> And then these dogs flipping around in here like they done lost their damn mind. So let me just show y'all what I got going on. Right here I got my boiled eggs. I got the eggshells. I got the stuffing for the eggs right there. Um, I've got my potatoes on. I got my red skin potatoes. One thing about red skin potatoes, when you make potato salad with red skin potatoes, you don't have to peel the skin off. You can just cut your potatoes up and make your potato salad. So that's what I'm doing with those. And then I'm going to fry a couple of chicken wings. Ain't no whole lot to that because y'all done seen me fry chicken before. But right now I'm just making the devil eggs. And um, I got to think of through the week it's kind of tough because I be so tired. I do cook. I cook almost every day even when I don't video. But I be so tired till sometimes when I'm in here cooking I just don't be feeling like videoing. Because I'm just tired and I just want to cook and I just want to throw something together real quick. I don't feel like talking about it. I just want to throw that shit together and get it on a plate and get these greedy folk out my face. Now, I didn't cook yesterday or the day before because I still had lasagna left over. And my son is still eating some spaghetti that I had left over. So, I wasn't cooking yesterday. I wasn't cooking yesterday. But um, I had taken out some chicken wings. The chicken wings was out the deep freezer and they were sitting in the refrigerator thawing out. So, um, I went on and I had to cook them today. So, I don't really have no hot topics or nothing like that. I'm just trying to see. Because, you know, as I, as things come to my mind, I will start talking. Now, I have one good outlet that I do have this year. Because my mom's birthday is coming up next month. This time of year, although I love it in one sense, I, it's kind of hard for me on the other sense. Because Thanksgiving was always a big deal in my family. If we didn't get together any other holiday, Thanksgiving was always a big deal. And then my mom's birthday is November the 19th. So, around this time of year, it's kind of hard for me. So, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> Last year, Sands was gracious enough to fly my good girlfriend Leah here from Maryland and she spent Thanksgiving with us last year but uh, I ain't talked to Leah in some months so I, I don't I doubt that she'll be coming by and then I got a little irritated because my cousin Tish I told her to let me fly her down here to spend Thanksgiving with me and she don't want to travel right now because she says she don't want to travel around the holidays with the baby. That pissed me off to no end. But I can't be mad. She's a new mom, you know. And people do what they want to do with their children. So I ain't mad. It wasn't even so much about that that I was upset about. It's just that I know me. Even though I have my children here and I have Sands here, I just always be craving for that extra family member or somebody being around because it's the time of the year that I have a hard time with. So... But I totally understood that she didn't want to travel, travel with her daughter, but I still got mad with her. And I was wrong. I shouldn't have got mad with her. But I did. See, that's how sometimes we do shit. We selfish. We want what we want what we wanted. 
and people do things and we get mad and we ain't big enough to say we sorry but I told her I was sorry and I explained to her that it wasn't so much that I didn't appreciate or I didn't agree with her fact of not wanting to travel with a baby during the busy holiday time I was being selfish it was about me at that moment all I knew is at that moment I know that during that time of year it's hard for me and I wanted her hair so I didn't take into consideration the fact that she doesn't want to travel in the holidays on planes and stuff with a new baby. So the first thing I did was lash out at her and say, well, forget it. If you don't never come, you don't never come, blah, blah, blah. But I did apologize because I was wrong because I had no reason to get upset with her for not wanting to come because it was, the, you know, it's the holidays. But this is what I'm saying. I said all of that to say this. Sometimes when we're wrong, sometimes when we're upset, when we're angry with people, but we take our own anger and anguish out on other people that we really don't mean to. I'm not saying that it's okay, but you got to be the bigger person to say, you know what, I apologize. I didn't mean to say that, or I didn't mean to do that. It was because of me, especially when you know it was because of you. Because I knew right off the bat the fact that she said she didn't want to travel during the holiday had absolutely nothing to do with her, me getting upset. It had everything to do with me and my selfish reasons because... The holidays are hard for me, and I just be wanting that extra company and that extra attention. So having her here around the holidays would have been great for me. But, you know, I apologize to my baby cousin, Tish Madri, and we all good because I don't ever want her to think that I'm upset with her because she chooses to make a decision when her child is concerned. Absolutely not. I'm her number one supporter, her number one fan. I'm going to always support her in anything. She wants to do what Charlie Boo is concerned because I know what it's like to be a mom. And can't nobody tell me jack nabbit shit when it comes to mine. You want to get into an argument with me? You want me and you to come on benefit? Start talking to me and fucking with me about my children. We come on benefit then. Period. So I get it. I understand. I respect what people do with their children. That's their business. You know, because it's my business what I do with mine. So, anywho, right now, my children are terribly spoiled because I'm standing up here at 7.30 at night on a Wednesday morning, tired as I am, sitting up here getting ready to cook them. Let's look down at the plate. I got my shells there for my deviled eggs. I got my stuff in there for the eggs. And I got uh, my potatoes on that I'm getting ready to take out of here. And I got chicken in a bowl that still needs to be fried, but they're winged, so it's not going to be hard because I can deep fry them real quick. That's not going to be hard at all. Boy, go sit down. <laughs> and then this nut up here behind me with his old nappy here self. Because Jazz is supposed to be doing his hair for him. I don't know. Anywho, I'm not going to hold you guys. I said I was going to do a video today. Look at my face. Look like my face breaking out. Anyway, I'm super tired. Um, I'm going to get off of here for now. I'll probably take pictures of something when I do the potato salad. But I just got on here because, like I said, I'm really tired. But I promised a couple people that I would get on here and I would do a video. I got shit all up around my neck, honey. I'm tired. You girl, tired. Okay, I'm going to cook this here food, whip something up, and take my ass to bed. All right, guys. From my kitchen to yours or wherever you may be, I holla.